games of just putting just ridiculous numbers from three. Uh, what's going on with you guys? I think we just have a lot of chemistry right now. We're working really well together, and we're finding the open girls, getting great shots, and we're making them. And tonight, you guys control play from distance. You control play, you know, in the paint. What was the game plan going into tonight against Sienna? Well, they have a really good post player. Um, so we were doubling her, Lily Grunsey, I think her name is, and so she only had 10 points, I think, and she averages... 15.6, yeah? Yeah, so it was really just focusing on her, and the rest, we just played our normal defense. What's it like here coming towards the end of the season to have this head of steam going? It's a great feeling. We know, you know, going into the MAC tournament, we can go really far because we're playing our best basketball right now that we have all season. So it's a good heading into the tournament. What do you think about the game tonight? What are some just general comments, really? Well, you know, I, I thought that we were really aggressive defensively in you know putting ball pressure on, um, as well as putting the whole thing together. You know, we talk about ball pressure, help side being gaps. And I thought we did a nice job with that tonight in particular. Um, and Lily Grenzi is, is one of, if not the best post in the conference. And for us to, um, you know, she took a lot of our focus and I thought we executed that game plan pretty well. I mean, Sienna never looked comfortable, ever. I mean, I think it shows that their best player and one of the, like you say, one of the better all-around players in the conference mm -hmm. had two points going into halftime. Yeah. Well, you know, when we played up there, they they were the aggressor. I mean, we, we just let them do whatever they wanted. They dictated the entire game. And we, we really talked a lot of this week about, you know, what that looks, what success looked like for us. And that was a big part of it was attacking their press and their pressure, um, making sure that, that we were being aggressive and smart and within our defensive concepts and principles but that we were doing all of that as hard as we could and as aggressive as we could. And, you know, I, th I thought we did that tonight. You mentioned their press. I mean, it, from the start of the game to the end when mm -hmm. they had four starters still and you guys were primarily with backups, it never really had a problem with their press. Yeah, well, and and we cut a long way in that department, and it, that really started when we were playing at Iona a couple a few weeks ago, and they really pressed and trapped us the whole night. We did a really nice job of of attacking that pressure and making the next pass. And it, again, it was something that we did not do a great job of the first game, and we really made sure that you know we talked about it and that you know we we kept the ball off the sideline, that we got open, that we were coming to every pass, and I thought we did those things. And I know a lot of your interviews the past little bit have been about three-point shooting, and specifically Megan McGinnis. Mm -hmm. I mean, she had another great performance, went four for six, and one of those misses was a kind of throwaway one second left on mm -hmm. the shot clock. But then even as a team, you guys shot 50%, seven for 14 mm -hmm. in the entire game. What what has led to you guys just being so comfortable from beyond the arc? Well, I think a part of it is that, you know, we, we did shoot it poorly early, so, you know, now people don't guard us. Um, the other part is that I, I feel like we've really established some good inside game. You know, I think I think Lauren Gatto is very good. You know, Shy Britton is really starting to score there as well. Um, so so I think that opens some things up from the perimeter. And the other thing is really shot selection. Early we were just letting them fly, right? We would take whatever three we thought we you know we we could get a, a ray of light. And, and now we have solidified roles. Everybody's pretty not pretty comfortable. Everyone's very clear on what's a good shot for them and what's not. And I think we're doing a really nice job with shot selection as well. And that might play into my next question a little bit too, is that tonight you guys had 87 points, but mm -hmm. you had two players tied for a team high of 14, and then the next player had 13. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I mean, total team effort right down the line. Rebound, same thing. You had you, you out-rebounded them 32-27, mm -hmm. and I mean, Kelly Van Leeuwen mm -hmm. led you guys with six. Other than that, yeah. it was just everybody you know, for the most part, getting at least one. Yeah. Well, let's talk about Kelly Van Leeuwen for a second and how tough she is. I mean, she came in, she played major minutes, they pressed the entire game. She got six rebounds as a point guard. Um, you know, she took care of the basketball. She made, she was three for three from the field the first half. Um, you know, she really finished the game really, really well. Um, she... Let me just make sure this is right. Yeah, she did not have a turnover the entire game. A freshman point guard in, in what's a really big game for us, um, pressure-wise, 
and we had to perform tonight. And, um, you know, I thought she just handled it beautifully.